Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to make a tag that has an autumn theme. Uh, autumn is here and I really like the color changes that uh, happens in nature uh, with all yellows and reds uh, from greens. So here we start. I'm using a ranger tag that has the smallest size. I believe it's eight, size 8. And I'm covering it with a white cardstock that has linen texture on it. I'm sticking the cardstock with gel medium on the tag. I use this cardstock because I really like the natural te texture uh, that it has on it uh, because of the linen texture. And now I'm going to use Distress Ink to cover the tag uh, with different colors. The colors I'm using are Fossilized Amber, Spiced Marmalade and Vintage Photo. I'm going to start with the lightest color, Fossilized Amber, then I will move to Spiced Marmalade and then Vintage Photo. Uh, and I'm going to blend as I go, uh, going back and forth until I'm happy with it. It's enough if you put a little bit uh, ink on your uh, blending tool and then build the color as you go. Finally, I'm going uh, around the edges with ground espresso just to give a, a border to my tag. And since Distress Ink reacts with water, to give a little bit more interest, I'm going to spray some water and drop it with my hand on it. Uh, so it will lift the color a little bit and give a nice texture. Next I'm going to do some stamping. Uh, what I am using here is Lavinia stamps. Uh, I really like these uh, whimsical type of stamps that Lavinia has. I'm using black distress ink to stamp the image because I'm going to emboss it with clear embossing powder. This dress ink has longer drying period, that's why I chose this time to stamp my image. And the embossing will make the image look more crisp and shiny and have a little bit texture. I'm cutting the images in a way that there's a little white border around it. Uh, you can really eyeball it uh, when you're cutting it. This way it will be separated from the image behind it.
I'm going to color the mushrooms with a powder pigment paint. Uh, this is a, a powder uh, paint from 13 Arts and the color is yellow amber. I'm going to give the link uh, down below. I want to have a soft watercolor look uh, on the mushrooms and also using this paint that has a watercolor look is uh, very easy with shading. So I can use uh, more paint uh, on the parts that I want darker and uh, less uh, when I want it a little bit lighter. and some splashes with the same paint. Now I'm going to do some die cutting. Uh, I'm using a pattern paper by Stamperia. Uh, this is a double sided uh, pattern paper so I'm going to use both sides. And I'm using a stitched heel side uh, borders uh, die cut. My aim is to create a ground uh, on my tag with this uh, pattern paper. So I'm cutting a few different shapes with this die cut and I'm using my Sizzix uh, Big Shot machine for it. So now I'm trying to decide uh, where to put all these uh, shapes uh, to look uh, more interesting. And after I decide I'm going to stick them with uh, foam tape. This way they are going to be raised. And the tag will be more interesting. I'm going to ink up the edges with a ground espresso distress ink. Now it's time to place my mushrooms. to be careful not to close the hole uh, of the tag so I'm cutting the mushrooms a little bit now that I decided the placement of the mushrooms I'm going to stick them down with my glue pen this glue pen is really useful when you want to stick uh, images that are thin or small uh, so I would really advise you to get one of them And since there is a white uh, border around the mushrooms, I'm going to do some splashes with uh, white gesso all over the page to bind them uh, all together.
I'm really happy how it looks, uh, so let's move to the details. I'm using another Lavinia stamp. Uh, these are little dots, probably spells uh, from the angels. Uh, I'm using it to give a little bit texture. As a next step, I'm going to punch some little little leaves uh, to put uh, on my floor uh, on the tag. Uh, so I'm uh, inking uh, a white cardstock with several colors of uh, distress inks that I used at the background, and I am using this little uh, punch uh, to have the leaves in different colors. And again, I'm using my glue pen uh, to stick all these leaves uh, on the ground of the tag. I really like how these uh, leaves look, uh, they look so little and cute. Lastly, I'm using my crocodile to uh, open the hole again uh, on the tag and uh, I'm uh, using an eyelet uh, in gold color. I'm going to use a ribbon uh, that goes with the colors that I used. Uh, unfortunately, this ribbon came with a chocolate box, so I won't be able to give uh, any link for it. I'm cutting the length a little bit. And lastly, uh, I found this embellishment little heart, uh, shiny heart uh, in my stash. So I'm going to stick it with a uh, glue dot uh, in the middle of my uh, ribbon. I am using a liquid pearl uh, from Ranger uh, to go over the white dots on the mushrooms. This way they will have a really nice uh, shiny raised look. And here's the finished look uh, of the tag. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching the video and got inspired with it. You can find uh, the list of supplies down below the description area and see the close-up pictures at the end of the video. If you like it, don't forget to hit the like button down below or leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel and my blog. Thank you very much and see you next time.